Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Bug Fables. Last time we finished off the wasp area and we decided we were going to do a couple of things around the area with side quests while these characters over here cowered and this one's like holding his chest, clearly dying, so... Meh, meh. Team Snake Mouth. Hurry. Alright. Sorry, we took so long. You vile filth, step away from the queen. T Team Snake Mouth, I'm, I'm- Oh wait, Team Snake Mouth, I'm sorry, my injury. You blasted usurper, will you burn all of Bagaria to the ground to reach your foolish ambitions? Hm, you're all so pathetic, pitiable. A king holds absolute power over his people. He is not meant to serve, he is to be served. To command, to possess, to enjoy, that is the privilege of royalty, and it shall all be mine. You haven't learned your lesson. Shall I thaw out your ice and flame once and for all? Like we'd fall for the same trick twice. You would. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, he's right, we did. Team Snake Mouth! Kabu. Move. Ow. Kina! Stop. You will hurt my people no longer. Hand them over. All of them. Or I will pry them from your carcass. No, no, if we do, he'll... You have until my axe swings to say yes. Ah, oh, come on, we worked hard for those. It'll be all the same when I come back with the power of the everlasting sapling. You shall all bow to me once more, but you shall keep breathing. Enjoy your last days of peace, low lives. She didn't, uh, she didn't give the last one, the most recent one that we got, I noticed. Maybe he doesn't know that you need that for it to work? Grr, curse it all. We lost. That's no way to end the show. My queen, all I've done is fail you. Stay still, Maki. You're even more hurt than me. It, it's okay. It, at least we're all safe. It's not. He's just gonna get the sapling and come back. What could be the source of his power? Elizant? No, queen. Thank you for choosing to save us. I do not deserve your gratitude. I failed everyone. You, my loyal people, my mother, the queen. It would be folly to pretend I deserve this royal mask. My queen, that's not true. We couldn't ask for one better. You are our mother, our beacon of hope. Oh, can I talk about how amazing this, like, rendition of the theme is? This is so good. I love it. Thank you, Zaryant, but now all has been taken away from us. The Wasp King possesses the keys to find the sapling. I have failed as both your queen and mother of our people. No, no I know I am an outsider to all of this, but may I speak? When the king usurped my people, I cowered and hid. I have never raised a blade. I simply believed my subjects would always follow me, no matter what. I don't know how, but he turned them all on me just like that. If you are not a queen, I am but a peasant. I would never serve one without conviction and integrity. You've given us all the chance to thrive in your city. Your words are kind, but I cannot accept them. As we speak, the Wash King must be heading towards the Everlasting Sapling. Oh, apparently I was just getting a phone call. As we speak, the Wasp King must be heading towards the Everlasting Sapling, yet we have no way to pursue. Uh, Elizant, please answer us finally. Why do you deserve the Sapling? Why go through all this? I assumed it would be to keep yourself young and fit to rule. Uh, right. No one wants to get old. Fair assumptions, but no. It was never something for my own gain. I might as well tell you, then, the reason for my search. Ooh. 
The true queen, Elizantha I, my mother, she yet lives. She was put in a deep slumber using crystal energy, a sort of stasis. It was her dream to get the sapling so she could continue to rule Bagaria for years to come. I wished only to bring her back with it. A graceful queen, loved by all, a diplomatic genius who ended wars without combat. Yeah, but I mean, at some point, a king or queen's reign should end. <laughs> I mean, you don't, you don't need the same person ruling for too long. I longed for her return, so that I may concede my throne to her. For she is so much more than I have ever been. We truly thought wrong of your intentions, but the truth sounds even more insane. Wow, that's awesome! Um, I'm not sure if that would be my reaction. We need to go beat up the king. Whatever he wants isn't any better. If we knew where he was going, we would have some chance, but... Uh, actually, I do know where, probably. Were you ever going to tell us? Speak up. R right I was, uh, waiting for the right moment. The king is certainly going for the sapling, yeah? Analyzing everything we know so far, my conclusion is the sapling must be in the giant's lair. You mean that giant wall we can see from the big tree, the haunted place? That giant's lair? Oh wait, is that like... I think I remember seeing from the map, that's like a house. So the giant's lair is like, a person. A towering behemoth of steel and wood said to have housed the precious previous rulers of these lands, the so-called giants. It is forbidden to go there, none who enter have come back. In hindsight, it makes sense it'd be there, even if we needed the artifacts to enter. We need a boat to get there though, doubt the wasps will let us sail in fine and dandy. <laughs> they were one step ahead of us. We had just received reports that the ships at the pier were sunk by the wasps. Well, what do we do then? Bees can't build boats or anything. If you'd allow me to suggest something, why not ask the termite kingdom? There's a termite kingdom? They're an isolationist yet advanced society that lives just outside Bulgaria. They hate daylight, so they don't make much contact. Some species go for a visit, but they forbid entrance to all ants. Or, that's how they used to be. Right, our queen? When my mother went into her sleep, I was not skilled enough to maintain her level of diplomacy, and our alliance fell apart, my queen. But they are our only hope. I will go. Injured though I may be, I shall request an audience and do what it takes. I must oppose that termites live deep in the Forsaken Lands. That area is teeming with dangerous beasts. You must not put yourself in da such danger. I will prepare envoys at once. If this was any other time, I would agree with you, but there is no choice. We are only in dire straits because of me. I will go myself, and that is final. Hmm. If only I was as strong as you, my- er, oh wait, I thought that was Neolith talking. If only I was as strong as you, my queen, injured as I am. Maki, Zaryans, you two rally up all explorers, do not let rumors and panic spread. When we return, we shall strike the wasps. They most certainly have seized the rubber prison as we speak. That is the only known way inside- oh, okay. That is the only known way inside the giant's lair from Bagaria. But right now, we will move to the Forsaken Lands. I will need an escort to ensure I arrive at the Termite Kingdom. Team Snakemouth, I shall wait for you in the Golden Path Tunnel. The old entrance to the Forsaken Lands is located there. Also, Vanessa, please feel free to stay at our palace. Oh, yeah, her. We do not have much to offer, but we will make sure to treat you as you deserve. Why, you have my gratitude, Elizond. It seems you misjudge your ability to impress in court. Our mothers may have had trouble in the past, but we can change the, the relationship between ants and wasps for generations to come. Is that so? Then let us share a meal when this is all dealt with. Team Snakemouth, we must hurry. Do not keep me waiting. Uh... I hate to break it to her. Team Snakemouth, please protect the queen. You can count on us. Give me money. Please, you always give me money when I finish a mission, although I guess I didn't really finish this one. I failed one, so maybe I don't deserve money? Fair. Salt on rubber prison. Alright. What you got to say, Zaryant? You remember how to get to the Golden Path Tunnel, right? It's just south of the Association. Please be careful. 
The forsaken lands are always shrouded in fog, and many dangerous beasts lurk within. Leave it to us. I see. Anything hiding up here? No. Have I examined, like, the throne before? Can you even? I feel like I'm missing a lot of discoveries, so... Oh, I've never seen this. A glass window of King Lyra II and King Hector IV, rulers of the termites. Huh. Yeah, I've never looked at that one. Hell is on the second window is destroyed. What about this? Vanessa I, former queen of the wasps. Okay, so there's two discoveries I just grabbed. Alright, Neolith. Neo, this is the worst time, but... Not at all. I've got my fair share of debts to repay you for. Would you know anything about this? It's a stone we found in the desert. Yes, yes I do. This is an ancient roach power source. It's always the roaches, isn't it? Where exactly did you find this? I thought I'd never see one. We procured it from the Lost Sands. Could that hold any meaning? Weird, really? My research points to this being the key to an ancient lab. They say it's somewhere in Snake Mouth Den, but no one's found it. Snake? Snake Mouth. Leif, you were right. This has to be... A super clue to your weird stuff. Thank you, Neo. We'll check it out when we can. No problemo. You've got to tell me what you find out for science. Yeah, we will. Hmm. Well, I guess that answers that. I suppose we're headed to Snake Mouth Den this episode. What's going on? What's the big ruckus? Well, you see... Blah blah blah. Yes, blah blah blah. What? To think this would, ha would happen behind our backs. This is your fault. How dare you all lose? We did what we could. At least we can say we were present. Why you? Mothiva, you've got to learn to shut up sometimes. Ooh! Oh boy. I guess if anyone was going to talk back to Mothiva, it was going to be Maki's sister. Watch your mouth, pink freak. Watch your mouth, lest it suffers an unfortunate strike. Oh, she's so happy. She's like, <laughs> Maki. Oh yeah. I don't- I don't think you want to fight that, Zasp. Maki will kick your ass. Shut it, or we'll take you all on right now. You would lose. We can't afford to waste any time. We can argue when the kingdom's safe. Huh. It's good to see some have their priorities straight. We'll go on ahead of our task now. Try not to beat each other up. Must we always have these quarrels? Well, duh. Do you know how frustrating it is to live in your short, meager shadow? Come on, we beat you once already. Shut up. Take a hint. As if you're the only team who's grown. Whatever, we'll settle this later. Can't get too agitated before my show today. You're a paragon of chivalry. Anyways, we're off to the Termite Kingdom, so don't bother us. Don't care. See you, dorks. Huh, Zaps was like, interesting. So I'm guessing he's probably gonna meet us there and try to steal all the glory? Ah. <sighs> Let's, uh, prepare and head to the meeting point. Yeah, I hate to break it to the queen, but, uh, we're gonna be waiting for a bit. Sorry, queenie. So, do I have enough discoveries now? Please? 32 discoveries. Oh, 33. Last time I had 27. Cool. Looks like you have enough for the next reward tier. Here you go. 30 berries. Seems to be all. Okay. So just 30 berries, not anything too crazy. Hmm. Well, then. I think what I'm going to do now, I imagine we're probably going to have a boss fight in, uh, what's it called, but... Snake Mouth Den, I mean to say. But I think we're pretty good on items. I think I just want to rest up. So I think we'll just do that and call it. Looks like there's even more new quests. I didn't even do all the ones from last time. So I guess, I guess once we get back from Snake Mouth Den, we're going to follow up on these things, because there's quite a lot of quests for us to follow up on now that we haven't done in the interims that we've had. So I'm going to rest up really quickly and then we'll just head straight to uh, Snake Mouth Inn, or rather I will, and I'll probably cut out this nap. So I'll see you then. Oh, I just realized while I was walking back, I haven't actually turned into this character in quite a bit, so let's see what you got. Hey, you're back. Let's see how you've been doing with that metal. Hmm, good job, folks. You defeated that hardened the beast. Was it too challenging for you? Server reward. Reverse toxin. 
Being poisoned heals their equipped ally instead, however, it reduces defense by one while poisoned. So poison heals instead, however, it reduces defense by one. That could be useful. Oh ho, you've been on a roll. Beat duo of fake explorers too, eh? Take this. HP plus. Come back later when you've, uh, bonked some extra hard heads. Hey, blah blah blah. Whoops, I didn't mean to talk to you again. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so we got another HP plus medal. So we have four or five of those now. Probably never going to be using all of those, but... This medal sounds pretty interesting. It's three, though. Um, I mean, it would be... It probably still wouldn't be bad if I put a Poison Defender on, and then I can put Reverse Toxin on instead of having Life Stealer on, because Life Stealer actually lowers, uh, lowers Kabu's attack. So, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Probably gonna hit up this save point right here, and then continue my walk to Snake Nocton. Alright, here we are. Ugh, this place is so boring, no one comes around here. Oh yeah, I thought maybe he was gonna open the gate, but I suppose we just go under it. That would make sense. Anything hidden over here? Honey drop. Hello. There's probably quite a bit of uh, berry spots that we haven't uh, gotten since we haven't been to this area since the very, very beginning of the game. Oh, it just fell. A berry. So I, uh, I did switch my badges back around to our normal setup that we have when we're just fighting enemies like Triumph Buzz and all of that jazz. So we have all that set up. Oh, and bug me not, of course. Yeah, I think there... No, there was just a berry hidden over here. There wasn't a berry spot. Oh, wait, no, there is. Hello, berry spot. Oh, it's a spicy berry. We're not getting very many more crystal berries. I wonder if we're kind of done with those at some point. Because I still have to get five to really change anything in that regard. Of course, there... Ooh, hello. Hello. Huh. How does one get to you, I wonder? Interesting. Well. Inicus, I don't I don't think you're gonna be able to do anything, buddy. Okay, can't go through there. Hmm. How does one We don't have that ability to like fly yet. And I think we need that for that. So I'm going to write that particular one down in my notes. Let's just go ahead and... Um, berry. Snake. Mouth. Need. Lying. My notes for this particular game have gotten pretty crowded. But... These next few episodes, since it seems like we're kind of hitting the end game here, are probably mostly going to be us just following up on things like this and, you know, some of those bounties we have, like the Devourer and uh, stuff like that. Although I, I really wish I would have gotten this, like, ability that lets me get across gaps before I did this, because obviously we're running into situations like we're in right now, where... Oh, okay, that's not one I can break. We're running into situations like we're in right now where I get here, but I can't get everything because I don't, um, I don't have all the abilities in the game. That's my thing in Metroidvania is usually I like to, uh, wait until I have most of my abilities to kind of, uh, finish exploring all areas as it were, because usually you'll run into some situations where you just can't get to everything. Hello, Snake Mouth. What are we doing here? Is everything cool? I'm gonna I'm gonna hit up the save point. All right. Well, I guess we're putting this in. Let's put the peculiar gym. I wonder if this is going to be like the like optional, super difficult area or something like that with like a hidden boss and stuff. Neo was right. This place must hold clues to your past, Leif. Rizgbigturgen with Lagliak. Uh, yep. Ready to go in? Nizhtrabj. Er, is that a yes? Rick? Boy, isn't this lasting way too long? So, 
Sorry, you're not wrong. The this place is intense. Let's prepare properly. Place this well guarded must have its own set of dangers. Hopefully a treasure or two, too. What matters is finding our answers. Okay, so I imagine after I do this as well, I can um go follow up on that stuff with Leif. I think we'll go for a little bit longer. And then I probably have to get back and save. Refacajin Tuan effect nah. I'm starting to worry. Growl. Oh, are these okay, these are creatures that's a bee and a beetle that have been taken over by uh the mushroom cordyceps, it looks like. What what the heck? A bee and a beetle in this place? So ask ya Shrubjin Ru Hakin Crawlers Grobalje Rubigelinge Leif, you you get them? That language, is it? They won't listen. Ready up. Alright, here we go. Guess this is our first taste of these new enemies, as it were. No. I meant to just switch to Leif. Because we got some spying to do. A zombie. I appreciate you, Bug Fables Des. I appreciate you a lot. Ugh. This is not right. This feeling is... F focus. We'll just freeze everything on the path to the truth. Okay, is that a hint that I should freeze them? Zombeetle? No way, it, it isn't just zombie ants. It's like this place is cursed. It's super tough. I'm gonna need the other's help. It just has one defense, that's fine. Alright, let's give them a good bop. They don't seem too difficult, and I could have came to this er area a lot earlier, I believe, so... It would make sense. Okay, that's kind of scary. Alright, Zombeetle. You have Kabu's dash through attack. I'm a little spooked by you now, so we're just gonna go ahead and freeze you. Uh, I messed up. You know, it would really help if I could turn, uh, tell up from down. That would make this a lot easier. <laughs> Damn it. That was my fault. Oh yeah, I forgot you do a second attack. Ow. Okay. Oh, whoa, it broke and hit the back line as well. Okay. Okay, maybe this area will be a little difficult. Because I assume these are going to be like the enemies of this area. Alright, there we go. Just be careful and actually do things correctly this time. <laughs> Uh, do I want a needle pincer? No, I think we're gonna wait until next turn. And now we can just rush them down. Good thing I have Triumph and Victory Buzz on, because, jeez. This would be rough otherwise. Okay, so it's weak to ice. Okay, that's something... That's something interesting to point out. I can't... I don't remember if the zombie was weak to ice or not. I wasn't actually paying attention, so... Should I just... Hmm. I mean, if I do this, I can kill it now. Yeah, let's just let's just kill it now. Boom. You're a dead friendo. Even though I missed that second one. Alright. So, middling XP from them. This is wrong. It feels way wrong. What could this mean? Why, why can we understand them? Don't jump to any conclusions, we... We must delve deeper and find the truth. Right, let's move on. Hello. That's a super huge gap. Even if I carried you, I doubt we'd make it. Hmm, we have an idea. Oh, cool. Yeah, nice. Er, uh, is that safe? They'll probably melt out, but we have to be quick. Not a problem. That's super cool. You actually you actually get a new ability from a uh, like a little optional side quest thing. That's neat. I mean, I, it's pretty important because it's a Leif's whole thing, but still. Leif cannot create icicles. Press B to create an icicle that will fall downwards. Cool. So, whoops. No, switch to Leif. Uh, how did I do it again? Did I read it incorrectly? I thought it just said you just press B to create an icicle over water. Uh, it's probably be in... No. Metals and stats, there we go. Ooh, I like this kind of... 
remix here. It's pretty neat. Metals, skills. Okay, here it is. Icicle. Press oh, tab B twice. Okay, so it's like Kabu's ability. Alright, that's neat. But I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode off here, as it has been going on for quite a while and I'm running out of time. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time as we explore the rest of Snake Mouth's den and find out what is up with Leif. Is he a zombie? Who knows? See you then.